My last poem. My last poem will walk under storm green skies, past haunted duplexes, through echoing culverts, through knee high grass. It will walk from New Jersey pine barrens and coast up Gravity Hill. It will walk from mother's horror to father's death. It will walk from the myth of Saturn to the mouth of the whirlwind. It will walk all this way to sit on my chest, some cat-like Buddha, to flip through the uneven pages of my unjustified heart. My last poem and my first poem will sit on the front porch and tell tall tales about the neighbors. They'll compare rhetoric and the scope of their, their rhythm. You've got a charming rhyme scheme, my last poem will say. You've got a mysterious metaphysic, my first poem will reply. And they'll write sketches of the wind while drinking green tea with a pinch of fresh mint and a spoonful of local raw honey. My last poem may have forgotten every cherished image. It may have lost its connection to each borrowed symbol and 40 years worth of repetence. It may find itself confronted by each half unfinished stanza, each half begun epic, each muse in passing and muse in waiting, each shop girl, waitress, movie star, pew-mate, classmate, anima projection, all the false goddesses and true heritons, all the true goddesses and the faithless lovers. It may have forgotten their names in eternity. It may have lost its breath and its measured lines. It may not want a song or need one more sip of beer. My last poem will shake your hand and greet you. It will welcome you like an old friend. It will walk with you anywhere.